Hey y'all, Siren on the Dragon. Go ahead and subscribe. Like, comment, share the video. Um, so the message I received was, you're not sick, you're having triplets. So somebody's having triplets. Triplets. Someone is having triplets. Okay. So let's see, what is this about? Messages of clarity, please. So we have the six of cups. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. Six of cups. So six of cups. So this could be um this would be maybe something that where it's like um this is definitely involving like children, I see for sure. With the six of cups automatically this is definitely having to do with children um there could have been some type of manipulation in the past here that could have you um uh, believing that maybe you could be sick um but i feel like whatever happened whatever happened in your past it's like maybe you know the need to try to control the situation um, could be what's blocking um, it could be what's blocking you from having whatever this is that you desire okay because it's weighing heavy on you okay this is a lot of controlling energy okay this could also be people from your past here who could be um, manipulating your energy um, keeping you weighed down so that you don't see what's really going on or why you're really sick but i feel like you know this here this is also a part of the reason why um you could be sick as well holding on to people from your past who who have a hold on you and it's like now it's time for you to produce produce something um in threes so if you could be having you could be producing producing triplets okay you're producing triplets and so holding on to these people here who are not exactly giving you the energy that you give out is what is ha what also has a hold on your what has a hold on i want to say your spirit what has a hold on your on your mind this is almost like um spiritual attacks here spiritual attacks that are manifesting um in your vessel <clears throat> through way of sickness but with the five of cups here i feel like there's people from your past who are weighing down on you because they need whatever this is that you have and that you offer okay so you're expanding three times out you're expanding three times out here okay you're expanding three times out but it's like people from your past can't come with you where you're going. Empress, whoever the, whoever this is, this Empress. Yeah, Empress Tower. Okay, yeah. Because right now it's like someone here is getting ready to give birth to something that is going to triple, triple. Um, they're about to triple. I don't want to say. Um, it could be. It could be like. It's really about to be really big, okay? But holding on to these past energies <coughs> is going to have someone here um, in a, a tower moment, a huge tower moment, okay? A huge tower moment. I feel like your work is going to change. This is another confirmation of pregnancy here for someone. It's like your work is going to change. Your work is going to... um. Your work is your work is going to change, okay. And I also feel like this holding on to these these past people, these past energies, is what's kept someone delayed or in a position where they're not in, they're not where they're supposed to be, okay. This is following up under the magician. So with that following up under the magician, this is somebody who's trying to control a situation too much. Okay, whether this is you or outside sources, there's too much control and manipulation. And this is what's causing delays for um, 
someone's success. It's keeping someone stagnant, staying around these past energies. These are past energies. Yeah, with the chariot, it's time to move forward. There could be a cancer involved here. But it's time to move forward. Walk by faith and not by sight here. Because this person here is creating their reality and being guided by the, fin the sphinx that are in front of the motorcycle here. She she doesn't have any control over where what well, she has control, but she's also allowing spirit to guide her. The um the element of balance with the black and the white here. Yeah, you moving forward is what's going to help you balance whatever this weight is, these ten wands that are weighing on you. Um, and this is also what's going to cause a, a backfire of energy when it comes to these controlling and manipulative um people here this resistance also whoever this is if you're resisting a situation if you're resisting moving forward so that you can produce this triple threat or whatever this is this this triple energy if you're resisting it it's only going to keep you it's only going to keep you tied tied deeper into an illusion okay this sickness is definitely an illusion this sickness is also um produce uh physically producing because there's um a mental binding spell that is being um that's that's on someone here there's someone here who's being mentally bounded up by with magic to delay them from um moving forward okay delay them from this healing you will heal there's healing here but you have to use your sword to cut off what no longer serves you okay Queen of Cups, follow your intuition. Follow your intuition, okay? Because there's, there's healing here that needs to be had within the spirit, within the sacral chakra, within the crown chakra. I also see that maybe you could be, um, this is another energy of like collaboration. This is that triple energy as well. This is, you know, you, this you, Something that something that's that you could be creating, a vision that you have, and then you got spirit here who's guiding you to produce whatever this vision is, this triple energy. <clears throat> yeah. Star. So this is this is someone here who is on some type of platform as well. You could be um a star of some sort. Maybe you could be a star in your community, or you could be um a star on online, or you know, you could be a star in your own way. You could be a spiritual star, or you can be like a star seed here. But there's definitely a need to take action. Okay, take action. Yeah, two of pentacles. Yeah, someone here. It's like the more you delay or the more you um kind of stay in a, a space of juggling back and forth, it's 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 gonna it's gonna keep you revisiting the same cycles of um sadness, same cycles of regret, same cycles of depression, um, not feeling good enough, not having enough. Okay, but now you're being asked to jump off the porch. Spirit is asking you to jump off the porch, step off into your power. Okay. Because someone was being someone was delayed. Delayed. There could be a lot um of people from your past who are watching you here. There's a lot of people from your past who are watching you. Um, they could be angry right now, wanting to hold you back. Okay. They're trying to hold you down. Oh, so we got the world and the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, um, yeah, you staying stuck. I feel like you staying stuck is what's causing this 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 turmoil more than anything. Closing out this cycle because you're gonna have victory in the end. You're gonna have victory um, if you choose to move forward. If you choose to release the energy that no longer serves you here, then. You'll have what you desire. Everything you desire is actually on the other side of you closing out this cycle. I do see someone here could be uh, getting ready to travel around the world. This could be this could be um, heavy at first. It could be heavy at first, but I feel like um, you know if if you're not if you're not on some type of platform or you're not 
some type of celebrity here. This could be people who are watching you secretly here behind the scenes. They're watching you to see what it is that you're doing, what it is that you will do next, what it is that you are um, going to invest in because you're not sick. Okay, you're not sick. You're not sick. You're expanding. This is a spiritual expansion. Okay, if it's not a physical expansion, it's definitely a physical expansion. I mean, if it's not a physical expansion, it's definitely a spiritual expansion. So I feel like, you know, you being the empress in this situation, there is a partnership that is coming to light as well. Um, and spirit could be really wanting and desiring to partner with you because there's this is something that you can't do with anybody or with. Yeah, you can't do this with anybody. Okay, you healing and trusting your intuition is what's, what's helping you to attract this abundance, okay? But spirit definitely wants to partner with you. I see someone, um, someone here is partnered deep in deep within the cosmos, okay? This is not going to be a physical partnership, but it's definitely... Um, well, let's see. Is it going to be a physical partnership? Maybe it is. This is... This is um, yeah, fear. Yeah. Fear is holding this person back. And God's trying to partner up with you. And God's trying to partner up with you. There's a proposal that's coming, an investment that's coming here. Something that's going to help you to um, solidify your, your, your wealth in the long term. Okay. What else? What else? Uh, well, what's this two of cups? Clarify this two of cups for me. Clarify the two of cups, please. Let's see. What's this two of cups? Two of cups energy. Downloads. So you'll be receiving a lot of downloads here. A lot of downloads. Um, they could be you'll be receiving a lot of communication um from uh different different sources as well. So this would come from multiple sources here. And it doesn't always have to make sense. It doesn't always have to make sense, but it's it doesn't have to make sense to you on the physical, but on, in the spirit, there there is going to make a lot of sense here. It's almost like your spirit knows, your spirit knows before you do. With the Queen of Swords here, with the Queen of Swords, you're gonna have to be uh, you have to be sharp. You can say what you mean, mean what you say. Okay. Say what you mean and mean what you say. There's a, there's gonna be a um. You could expect to, like, once you move forward from whatever this is that's weighing you down, you could be. You could be um receiving some type of confirmation or some type of download as you go through this shift here. You could be needing to cut off um sexual energies <laughs> you know what i'm saying you could be needing to take a break from sex for a moment just so that you can see um so that you can see and feel yeah hold back from sex this is someone who needs to someone here needs to stop having sex for a moment okay because you're not sick you're having triplets so things are coming and expanding in, inside of you within you three times okay so if this is not a physical birth this is definitely a spiritual birth okay a spiritual birth yeah three of swords yeah this is in order to heal okay this is in order to heal someone here has to starve starve a demon there could be a demon that's dwelling inside of you possibly a sex demon that could be dwelling inside of you you gotta starve that starve that demon because it's keeping you um mentally entrapped mentally entrapped here okay Ooh, what else what else does she need to know what else does this empress need to know what else does this empress need to know queen of pentacles queen of pentacles in the reverse okay so there could also be
this queen of pentacles in reverse this is this is um this is releasing materialistic like um releasing materialistic habits um and, and like really figuring out how to maintain a nine of pentacles energy of uh independence okay staying independent okay there's something new it's definitely new this is new new energy new new energy newness okay total total new energy okay totally new energy yeah and this is happening very quickly like this shift that happens this partnership with spirit this partnership that happens is going to happen very quickly so this could be a partnership where one one you releasing this energy from the past this controlling energy and this manipulative energy that's very like um self-serving or well, whoever this is is very self-serving these people are very self-serving they do they come around you to get what they need for themselves and they it's like you continuing to feed into that energy is leaving you in regret right so you releasing this materialistic mindset that, you know, it's all about what I have or what a person has is what's going to set you free from, um, it's going to set you free. It's going to set you free. But someone here has to stop having sex, withhold from sex, from, um, these karmic energies. Because there could be karmic energies here that keep you in a loop continuously keep you in a loop this is either you or this is um if this is a partnership that is outside one second please this is either you or the end and this could be another partner okay this is either you or a, this is a, a feminine or a masculine outside of you that you are going to partner with in order to make this change because this change is going to be like a, a, a ripple effect it's going to be a world a world a worldwide ripple effect <laughs> that's a mouthful right yeah but i see here with this king of pentacles this 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 king of pentacles um king of pentacles we have the king of pentacles and we have the queen of pentacles in reverse so yeah so this is definitely somebody here who's who's quickly freeing themselves this masculine energy this king of pentacles with this uh seven of wands this person could be really choosing to protect their energy here yeah they're protecting their energy because i have a feeling that this queen of swords and this queen of pentacles in the reverse are the same person here this person could be very um materialistic and kind of all about whatever they need whatever in you know using their sexual energy to get whatever they need okay but one of these two energies is um pregnant somebody is pregnant with triplets with triplets in spirit okay this is all in spirit okay this is a this is a in spirit pregnancy this is something that's going to expand three times so it's like it starts off, it starts off as that night, that nine of pentacles, that slow movement, that knight of pentacles. And then it moves forward and, and triples. Okay. It triples. Yeah, this is some type of um work competition here. Maybe there was some type of co competitive energy with work. Um, but I feel like that is all about to backfire as well. Because this Queen of Pentacles in the, in the reverse, this is somebody who is only focused on how much money can they make, not how can they make a difference in the world or in a community or in for everyone. OK. This is this is a that's a self-serving someone here could be involved in a self-serving partnership. Or involved with someone who's in the self who's who's self-serving they only care about what they need okay and this is causing us a, a, a stagnancy here okay someone it also i see that this is so there's going to be a sacrifice of energy a sacrifice of time um when it comes to working with this queen of pentacles in the reverse that's that's something that's going to have to be sacrificed in order to um get in alignment with what spirit has yeah 
Three of Cups. Three of Cups. So like I said, this is going to happen very quickly. This energy of coming, to, coming, coming together or... Yeah, this energy, this, this, okay, this is like a, a celebratory energy. This could be three women here involved. Or this could be three friends involved. This is, a, it's, 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 something is has to, something is, somebody is here about to assert, uh, face some type of judgment. Okay, facing some type of judgment. Because the truth is coming out about this situation and what, you know, what's really being produced in this situation. Um, but I do see that spirit is coming through with the with the ace of swords with the sword of truth here to um yeah to unveil to 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 dismantle something I heard dismantle well, with the two of swords because there's something going on behind the scenes that maybe you or whoever this king of pentacles can't see okay because this this judgment here. The judgment call is is this ace of swords because there's too much conflict. There's too much conflict and it's too much risky behavior. Someone here could be taking a risky taking risk. Okay, they're taking they're taking real they're taking risk. They're taking risk. Yeah, justice. Okay, justice. So justice is about to be served. I see divine justice coming in. This is following following up under following up under this um this King of Pentacles here. This is following up under this King of Pentacles. This is also following up under the um yeah. Five of Pentacles. So whatever this was, somebody here was resisting whatever this is because it was um someone was being penny pinched this king of pentacles could have been in a situation where he was being uh penny pinched or given the bare minimum of um something i don't know what that is but i see that with the with the seven of wands it's being it's backfiring whatever this control this manipulation this magic this you know somebody was weighing someone down mentally to keep them in a sick space it's like it's backfiring. It's almost like spirit is using that same magic to allow this person to go through a spiritual awakening. You and this person, um, whoever this is that you are going to um, be working with. This has to do with work. This is a shift in. Uh, yeah, this is a shift in work. Yeah, because someone here was uh, doing doing very sneaky, sly things behind the scenes to leave someone out. But I feel like someone's spirit guides, their angels are watching over that situation. They're watching to um, make sure that things get right. Okay. Yeah, because with this, we have the temperance here. We have the temperance with the king of cups. So I definitely feel like there's um, a spirit guy here. There's a spirit guide who's coming through to help this King of Cups get in alignment with where they are trying to go. This King of Cups and this King of Pentacles is the same person. They could have been um, sacrificing themselves um, unjustifiably here, okay? But I feel like here, with this friend energy, this is a friend energy or this is uh yeah, this is a friend energy. Someone here could be moving forward with this Page of Pentacles. They, they don't have a lot. This King of Pentacles... And this person doesn't have a lot, but they're taking this and they're being guided to move towards um, calmer waters. But this is something that they haven't done before. But in the end here, in the end, you got the nine of the nine of cups, ten of cups, nine of cups, ten of cups. OK. So someone here definitely it's like. Staying, st staying in a situation is leaving someone in a space of sickness. This sickness is going to is breaking someone's spirit down to a point where they're not going to have any choice but to move into a new direction. This new direction that you're being pushed into is going to bring you towards um, a triple type of um, a triple energy, a magnified energy. It's like three times three. It's like what you, what you, everything you lost is coming back like three times three. 
and something is being magnified. Okay. And I, but I definitely see that there could be someone here who, um, someone here could be with child. This could be this queen of swords. This could also be, um, this empress here. There's someone here who is with child. Okay. Yeah, they're being, but you're being guided to move forward because things are about to expand. All right, y'all. So that's what I have for you. I hope that makes sense. If it makes sense, you know, you know, talk to God about it. <laughs> talk to God about it. Use your discernment. Okay. Um, y'all, if it makes sense to you, like the video. Make sense. Like the video. Simon and Dragon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.